have been just sitting here aching to ask Dr. Janata to explain what is going on in the brain. I know over the last just couple of years, you've been able to look inside the brains of people while, while they're hearing music and then these changes are happening. Explain to us, if you can, what goes on, for example, when a, when a, a, a person who is, has serious dementia starts singing and, 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 and answering questions they couldn't answer at all for a long time. What is happening in the head? Yeah, well, first and foremost, the, audi or the auditory information has to make its uh, way up to the auditory cortex and get processed, right? And um, a couple of really basic uh, things happen there. Sounds are categorized as environmental sounds or speech sounds or musical sounds. And they're represented at different locations in the temporal lobes, so the, in the auditory cortex in the temporal lobes. And uh, another critical thing happens primarily in the right hemisphere, um, which is uh, the pitch is extracted. And that, we're, that part of the brain actually has the ability to distinguish whether pitches are going up or down. And which is a really critical part uh, of figuring out a melody, right? So if, if you can't figure out if pitches are going up or down, you can't really appreciate a melody. And people who have uh, trouble with that, uh, we call a music. But that, those are just the building blocks, right? And so to get to your answer, uh, or the answer to your question, one has to then recognize that the uh, experience that we have with music really is building on those musical building blocks. And what parts of the brain become engaged with uh, music depends on the experience we're having. So for example, if you are listening to a blues band or a symphony orchestra, and you're trying to pick out the different parts uh, that are being played, the different melodies, then perhaps the parietal, lobes, uh, parietal lobe becomes activated. If you're hearing a familiar melody and singing along with it yeah. uh, in your mind, or if it's got the groove and it gets you moving, that means that the brain's motor areas, in particular the premotor areas, are become, becoming very engaged. And then you have the experiences, you know, when you hear that song that triggers the memory from the past, which means that parts of the brain that are very important for autobiographical remembering uh, one of those being the medial prefrontal cortex, which is just right here behind the forehead, um, that becomes very much engaged uh, by the music and I think can help explain uh, because that part of the brain is also involved with emotional processing and social processing, why it is that those memories that are memories of people, you know, we have strong emotions associated with them, uh, why we can have that kind of experience with the music. So it really depends on what we're doing with the music as to what part of the brain is processing it.